We're here at the uh, Crosby Estates in uh, Bradenton, Florida, talking with Gary Mazu, uh, director of the Dickens at the Crosby Show. And Gary, good to see you again. How you been? I've been doing great. How about yourself? Doing very well, and uh, always look forward to this part of the year. I know you come back uh, to do this show uh, almost on a yearly basis, right? Uh, yes, I do. This is our sixth season here, and it's my favorite show. I just love the holiday time of the year, and it's great fun to put together a show that incorporates the work of Charles Dickens. A lot of singing is involved. This year, for the first time, we're taking a Christmas carol, and we're doing a musical adaptation called The Stingiest Man. <laughs> it begins on December 15th and, yes. and runs for uh, about 10 days, I think. Yes, it runs through December 28th. If you go to our website, powellcrosleytheater.com, you can get the exact schedule of uh, every day that we're running throughout the December 15th to the 28th time frame. So kind of a unique show. Uh, I know you've done Shakespeare here in the past. Uh, it's almost uh, interactive in a sense, isn't oh, it? Oh, it's very interactive. We start outside with an opening, which includes a short story and then some songs that everyone can sing along with. And then we go inside and they have an opportunity to, three, to see three shows in various rooms in the mansion. And then we go back outside for our closing. And everyone sees The Stingiest Man. That's in our great room. And then they have a choice of two other shows that are in three different rooms. So they get to see two of the three shows. And all told, it's about a two-hour performance uh, evening, and it's great fun. It's become pretty much a holiday tradition for a lot of people in the Sarasota, Bradenton area. That's one thing about down here. There are a lot of traditions in this area, and this has become one of them in, in a short it, six years. It, it really is delightful to see the, the response that we've received. People just love the show, probably because it's so intimate. You're sitting in a room at the Powell Crosley Estate, and you get to experience this estate, which is just beautiful. And at the same time, you get to experience different works of uh, Mr. Dickens. Uh, the performers in the show, uh, are they local actors or where do they There come is from? one person who's local, uh, Annie, who, by the way, although she's a local actress, has done professional theater for, oh my gosh, decades. In fact, she originated the role on Broadway of Mary in Merrily We Roll Along, which is a Sondheim oh, sure. musical. And then we also have professional actors from L.A., from New York, from everywhere. <laughs> That's one other great thing about this area, the acting, the theaters are down here, and you know it well. It's really a hotbed for, for talent to uh, not only perform down here, but some shows come from, go from here to Broadway. I think there's another one that yes. may be doing that, uh, Bonnie and Clyde, I believe. So. Oh, wow. Oh, fantastic. So it's, fantastic. it's a great area. I know you've been part of it for many years with the, the Shakespeare. I know you live elsewhere, but you come down here because it's, it's a great I spend I spend place. a half a year down here because I spend time with the Powell Crosley Theater doing various projects. And it's just a delight. Uh, I think people will find that what's unique about our style of theater is just how personal it can feel, how they can be involved in some of the shows uh, that uh, have interactive kinds of formats. Now, The Stingiest Man, that's more of a straightforward musical that they will uh, sit and experience in the great room. But then in some of the other rooms, they have an opportunity to, to uh, find out what it's like to, to spend time with Mrs. Cratchit or spend time with Charles and Dickens, uh, Charles Dickens and Catherine Dickens' daughter, Victoria. So there's a, a lot of fun in being able to move from room to room uh, in half hour time slots and see the various shows. Now, you mentioned the Stingish Man part as a scripted part, but the other parts, I guess there's a lot of improvising. Obviously, we, right? uh, we have a, a combination of improvisation, interaction, and of course, the, a lot of the work of Charles Dickens. Mm -hmm. In one room, uh, Charles Dickens' piece, which is uh, The Goblin Who Stole the Sexton, is a short story. And a companion piece with that is a lovely Hanukkah story called Herschel and the Hanukkah Goblins. And so there's a wide range of performance pieces, some of which the audience members could find themselves involved in, especially in Victoria's room. <laughs> and then Annie, who plays uh, Mrs. Cratchit, her room is a lot of fun. There'll be uh, an opportunity to, again, experience some of the works of Dickens, but also get involved in some little games. And uh, it's, it's just a delightful time. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Again, it runs uh, December 15th through the 28th. And for the first time, we're actually going after Christmas. So many people told us that they wanted to be able to give people tickets to our show as Christmas presents. So now we have shows on the 26th and 27th and 28th, so people can purchase tickets and give them as gifts to family and friends. That's great. Give up the website one more time, Gary. It is powellcrosleytheater.com. Gary, always good to see you, and uh, we we'll look forward to doing it again. Thanks for being with us today. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you coming over.